Hey guys, how's it going? Jason's here. Glad to be back. This is another video of Yeast RP Service PBX basic level configuration. In the previous video, we've already talked about how to set up the inbound routes. So our PBX can handle incoming phone calls through certain trunks. Now let's focus on the other way around. We're going to build outbound routes to define the rules of extension users to make external outbound phone calls. Same as inbound route, we can also find outbound route in the call control category. Once clicking add, we're in the configuration page. Let's give it a name. Then we can scroll down a little bit. To select extensions or extension groups that allow to use this particular outbound route, as well as trunks for sending outgoing calls. Please note that the system will route out the calls starting from the first trunk on the selected list, so we can change the priority if necessary. And now we've built a very basic outbound route. After clicking Save and Apply, those extension users are selected can make outgoing calls directly. Moreover, we can also use templates to build create outbound routes. However, in real cases, outbound routes are often more complex than this. For example, in Gaster Office, we need to dial number zero before an actual phone number to make outgoing calls, so we can build another outbound route to make it happen. First, we can name it as International. And we choose the trunks to be those trunks can support international phone calls. Then select extension users. Now let's get back to the dial pattern. By putting our mouse on the dial matching settings, we can get a very detailed explanation about how to use adders and wildcards to build a dial pattern. Please take some time to read it through. In this case, we need to have number 0 before a real phone number, so we can configure the dial pattern as 0x. Dot. It means any dial number starting with 0 and longer than 2 digits can be sent by this outbound route. But that's only the first step. When the number arrives to the carriers, they won't recognize it since it's no longer an original number. Therefore, we need to strip the first added digit by putting 1 on the strip box. Next, there's the prepend box. Prepend number is the number need to be sent to service providers in order to activate some special services or lines. For instance, in China, the ITSP told us if we dial 17951 before an international number, the communication fee is going to be cheaper, so we can leave 17951 on the box, or any other prepaid number that our local service provider offered. And that's how we set dial patterns. As long as the allowed trunks and extensions are the same, one outbound route can support multiple dial patterns. Since it's an international outbound route, it's better for us to set passwords to secure it. On Yaystar PCRS PBX system, we can use a single pin for all the users, or we can create a pin list. A pin list has several passwords to activate the same outbound route. Users are required to enter a password in the pin list. Normally, it's the only password they were told. When they try to use this outbound route to call out, let's go to call features. Find pen list and click on add. After naming the list, we can tap several pen codes in the pen list. One pen code per line, and don't forget to enable recording CDR for further tracking. And click on save. Now we can choose the pen list we've just created in the outbound route to apply it. Moving forward, the round robin with memory hunt feature can be very useful for our projects. Let's give it a check. As we discussed, we could change the priority of our selected trunks, which means currently the priority of trunks for making international calls are up to us. In other words, if the first trunk is available, it will always be used. That might end up with the huge phone bill for the first trunk. Well, when we enable the round robin with memory hunt, the selected trunks will start shifting automatically, which means the system will remember which trunk was used the last time and use the next idle chunk to call out. This is a very efficient method for us to make full use of all resources. Sounds pretty good, right? One last thing, we can enable time conditions to allow agents only call out during a certain time period. 
After confirming everything, let's click on Save and Apply. Now we're back on the outbound route list of this PBX. When a user places a call, if the dial number matches multiple dial patterns, the outbound route with the highest priority will be used. We can reprioritize the outbound routes in order to make phone calls from our design trunks. Alright guys, that was all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. More details about the P-Service PBX solution, please visit yaystar.com.